It's 10 to 1 on Sunday afternoon. Normally the city centre will be teeming with people and the shops will be doing a roaring trade, but not on Easter Day. On Easter Day, big shops are banned from opening, but not everyone who's come into town today realise that. I've got a day off work today, so I thought, let's go shopping. Were you surprised that most of the shops are shut? Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought most of them would be open. For me, it was a big surprise that nothing will be open. Not annoyed, but it's quite a good day to come shopping. Disappointed. Shops with more than 3,000 square feet must shut by law on Easter Sunday. It's not that long since every Sunday was like that. The law changed in 1994, and now Sunday is the second busiest day of the week in Manchester. While shops with more than 3,000 square feet are forced to shut, smaller ones, such as Reese on New Cathedral Street, opened. However, not all smaller shops opened. It's no wonder some shoppers were confused. It would have been handy if we knew the shop, but we've got all afternoon to wonder about now. Worshippers coming out of Manchester Cathedral's Festal Eucharist service want shops to stay shut on Easter Sunday. I think they shouldn't open on Easter Day. They shouldn't. Why not? Uh, because Easter is uh, something that we celebrate and everybody should celebrate. People shouldn't have to be going out to work in those shops and it should be the old day when, when people aren't, aren't out shopping. Those who have no faith at all are allowed to have no faith at all. So why can't they go to the garden centre? Well, I wouldn't have the garden centres open. They, they have 300 and odd, odd days a year to go and do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. these, these days should be special. This holiday is only happening because we're commemorating Jesus rising again from the dead. Without it, no bank holiday. So why not spend a moment of time to say what matters most to me and to respect those for whom this is the most important day of the year. So what are the chances of change? Well, the government consulted on the issue two years ago and decided to do nothing. But big shops and the Trafford Centre are part of the pressure group Deregulate, which is calling for complete deregulation of all Sunday trading laws, in spite of what the churches and the shop workers' unions might think. Richard Butt, Channel M News.